In the early days, they often traded flesh for flesh because if you had a Native American slave, he's got family somewhere. You know, he can blend in if he runs away. Africans, that's not an opportunity for them. Um, so what they would often do is trade native slaves uh, for African slaves, and then the native trade, the native slaves were often taken to the West Indies and sold in, mostly in sugar plantations. At the height of the plantation would have been in the 1820s. It was about a thousand acres, 800 of it would have been in cultivation. Not only did you have fields and things of that nature, he had sawmills, grist mills, he had stores here on the plantation. So he had blacksmith shops, ferry boats. So it was more than just this one property. This particular farm though was about a thousand acres of that.